All right, we're going to take a Bitmoji that I've already uploaded into Cricut. Um, and to do that, I just clicked Upload. I then selected from the photo library, imported it in, and followed the steps. But I've already uploaded this image. So I'm going to open Uploaded Images. And I'm going to use this one here that says thank you. And I'm going to add it in here. Quite simple. Um, I could print and cut this. But what you'll find is that it may not... Um, it's going to take a lot of time to cut it because of the detail around it. So basically, I'm going to select this here. I am going to go into the edit mode so that we edit one there. And I'm going to select offset. And what this does, it creates a border around the image. And you'll see that that border is way too big. So I'm going to shrink it down reasonably close um, to the center. If I keep going down this way, it's going to be a negative one. That's looking really good. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, and I am going to click done. Now it goes black and I don't want it black. So I'm going to click here, the basic cut operation, and I'm going to leave that white and apply it just because I like that better. But you can see that black line um, there where it's going to outline. It just shows you where that cut's going to um, be and you're going to leave that nice white border around it. Now this is a little bit too big. Um, because I want to shrink both of them down, I need to select both the offset piece and the sticker that's here. So I've chosen both of them and I'm going to flatten them. So now they are one image. They're all combined. Um, there is no separate um, part to them. And I want to resize them. So I want these to measure um, approximately 1.2 inches. So 1.2 um, is the size I've got there. Now it looks really small um, in, on the screen here, but I can make my screen bigger. You can see it there. But now I'm going to actually click Make It. So by selecting the Make It here, um, you can see it's got this black border. Now this is the um, what the Cricut needs to see where the outlines are. And this shape in the middle, so the, the black line that's there won't actually get um, cut. So I'm going to change this to 35 because I think I can fit about 35 on here. So click Done. Perfect. Now, because it's quite close to the bottom, I could try adding another row, um, but I don't think that's going to work. So the Cricut needs a certain space to work in. Now, my material size here, I've got 8.3 times 11. That's not the case because the stuff that I am going to be using, which I did have handy here, but I've popped away. Um, I'll bring that in in a second, is actually the American letter sizing. So I need to make sure um, that I'm telling the machine to cut on the right thing. Um, now, I don't really need the bleed for print then cut because I've done that offset process uh, and that is all in there, which is pretty cool. So now I'm going to click next. Um, now my Cricut is currently linked to my laptop, so I'm going to cancel that because I realise that what I actually have to do is go through that printing process first. So I've got my printer and I'm going to use this printer here um, and it's just getting some printer information uh, on board and I'll just wait and see what's happening here if i look at the default settings i want it to be color um, and i'm hoping it's going to bring some more printer stuff in here because i actually want it to make sure um, that it is going to do the best possible print options in here so you can see here i've got letter um, it's the normal i've got the presets and i've got the color um, I think maybe if I go through the actual printer and click on this, I can go to information, maybe not. Um, so what you want to do is make sure it's going to have the best possible print um, calibration. And now I'm not able to get up there. That's my printer being annoying. So that's correct. Maybe I'll change it to that. Nope. I've lost the touchpad capabilities. I'm going to there we go. We're back out into here. So we've got this all there. And then if I click the print again, Presets, default settings, it's gathering the print information. And it's taking a while. Pretty sure my printer's on. I probably should have checked that, shouldn't I? I've got that letter size there. Um, and so that is basically ready to print. Now when I press print, I haven't actually put the paper in my printer yet. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of this. So this is Cricut Explore. It's just printable vinyl. Um, it's possibly not the cheapest way of doing it, um, but I really like how the finish is within this. So I'm going to get some of that paper and pop that in my machine. 
in my print. And I'm just going to try pressing um, the print option and see what happens. So what I've now got is a sheet with all of these printed on there. Um, so you can't see any borders or anything, but those lines will be shown when I put this into the machine. So if I click up here on next, um, it's asking me to select the accessory. So I'm gonna have to go into my settings um, and I need to select my Bluetooth and I need to choose my Maker 3. And now it's connected, which is great. So back into here, um, if I've clicked OK, I can now click Next again. So hopefully this will um, start giving me some information on what to do next. So I've got this here, this is what I want. Um, I've printed it. Now I'm going to actually have to choose my materials. So if I go into all materials here, um, there's quite a few options. So this is the Cricut Explore printable vinyl. So I'm going to scroll down to the vinyl section. So looking through quite a wee way down I probably could have done a bit of a search at the top but you can see how many different materials can actually be cut on here um, keep going through V is quite late in the alphabet hopefully it will come soon here we go vinyl so I've got a few vinyl options just looking through them um, we've got dry erase vinyl and still looking so we're wanting the printable vinyl um, I should have looked and seen which one this was first and just scrolling through there's premium vinyl dry erase smart stencil so many options it's not one of the smart ones um, and I'm just trying to see if it's going to say anything else because it's definitely a printable vinyl so maybe I will try that up here printable Printable vinyl. There we go. It did come up there. Right, should have done that at the start, shouldn't I? Okay, so now it's telling me to load my tools and mat. So I'm going to head over to the Cricut um, and I'm going to work that and I'll set up the camera. Okay, so the machine's telling me to load the tools and the mat. Now I haven't actually pressed um, the um, sticker sheet onto the mat yet, so I'm going to do that and get that all set up, uh, ready to go in. To the mat so i'm going to use a standard grip mat um, and get that process underway right so it is all loaded up and i'm going to put it through the guides and press the flashing lights now it's probably going to read um, where the start and finishes so it's got these black lines and the machine is just going to read first up measuring the mat that i put in there and then it is going to work out those little black lines so it gives the Cricut the boundaries of where this is all fitting. So when I press go, there's a wee light that's going to flash up under here and it's going to show where it is working out the sensor. The sensors are just working out the pieces. So you probably can't see that wee light, but it's just now doing the top corner um, going in from the left and then the top right and then it's going to go down the bottom and it's measuring that bottom left and then the top right side and just working out where that is. Sometimes it will measure it a couple of times if it hasn't quite worked it out. But you can see there it's just sort of adjusting and shifting. And so it's getting ready to do what it needs to. So after this last one, I think it pretty much heads up to the top. Pretty much ready to cut. What I'm seeing on my screen over here is that it's preparing. So the machine's just thinking and getting itself ready. And now it's going through that cutting process. And so it looks like I possibly should have had my um, boundaries a little bit wider because it's cutting out a teeny tiny little piece inside um, each of those uh, shapes before it's cutting around the outside edge using that offset piece that um, we've talked about before. So I'm going to pause the video now and then I'll show you what happens when it comes to weeding, pulling this out and what's come on the stickers.